In this video, you will learn how to troubleshoot and resolve Google Kubernetes Engine or GKE private cluster creation failures. GKE private cluster is a type of cluster that contains nodes with only internal IP addresses. This enables users to run their nodes within their private network and provide better protection to workloads with no direct exposure to the internet. Let's begin by jumping into the Google Cloud Console and creating a GKE private cluster. Typically, GKE private clusters are created in a shared VPC project. For this demo, we will use a project called my-shared-vpc-project, which is pre-configured with the following. Shared VPC network named SharedNet and a subnet in Australia Southeast One region. Pod and service IP ranges. Service project called GKE-service-project, where we will be creating the GKE private cluster. Next. The service accounts of project gke-service-project are configured with IAM role compute network user to enable access to shared VPC subnet called sharednet. Next step is to create the GKE private cluster. For this, in the Google Cloud Console, switch to the project where you want the cluster to be created. In our case, this is the project gke-service-project. Go to Kubernetes Engine Clusters page, click Create. Choose GKE standard. Specify the name of the clusters as private cluster. Choose location Australia Southeast one. Go to the networking tab. Choose the shared network and subnet. In our example, we will select shared net for both these options. Under network access, select private cluster. You can choose to enable disable option access control plane using its external IP address based on your requirements. Next, specify the IP range for control plane IP range. Remember to ensure that these IP ranges do not conflict with existing network ranges. In advanced networking options, select the pre-configured pod and service IP ranges. Once again, ensure that these IP ranges are not already used by other clusters in the same project. Finally, click on create button to create the cluster. We will now check if the cluster is correlated. Click on the cluster name, private cluster. You can see the cluster is still being created. Oops, the cluster creation failed with an error. This error indicates that out of three nodes, none of them could be registered. It also suggests we check VM serial logs for errors and the likely cause could be the nodes failed to start. To investigate this error, let's check the serial console logs for one of the failing nodes. Click on nodes and node pool. Under the instance group section, click on one of the instance groups. Click on one of the Google Compute Engine or GCE virtual machines VMs. Under the logs section, click on serial port one console. In the VM console logs, you can observe the following errors. The logs indicate that nodes failed with a connection timeout error when trying to download required objects from the cloud storage API, storage.googleapis.com. This can happen if the network access to storage.googleapis.com is not provided. To resolve this issue, since this is a private cluster, the two most common ways to allow the nodes to communicate with services such as Google APIs is either by enabling private Google access on the subnet for the node network or enabling CloudNet. Go to the networking settings of the cluster and access the subnet of the shared VPC project. Oops, we see that private Google access settings are not enabled by default. In this case, let's use private Google access to enable the nodes to reach services like storage googleapis.com. Let's enable it by turning on private Google access. As we just resolved node connectivity to storage.googleapis.com, we can wait for some time for the nodes to be registered, otherwise recreate the cluster. In this case, I have recreated the cluster. Congratulations, we have now successfully created the GKE private cluster. To avoid these issues, remember to enable private Google access manually for shared VPC clusters before creating GKE private clusters, unless you are using CloudNet or other options to connect to storage.googleapis.com. Ensure that you have completed the requirements before creating a private cluster. 
For more information on how to troubleshoot GKE private cluster creation issues, check out the documentation. Thanks for watching. Thank you.